Good morning. Good morning. Guess what, guys? Wait, wait. First off, tell them who made you your lovely breakfast. Oh, guys, Haley, what a chef! She made me oatmeal. Can I? You're welcome. I'm getting to the important part. Boom! FTMO challenge phase one completed. As you guys see right here, the winning trade. I'm going to be breaking it down for you guys. I'm dropping this, you know, so stay tuned. This might come with the vlog if you guys did enjoy the vlog, but I'm gonna break it down how I made $10,000 and passed phase one of the FT mode challenge and already onto the verification. Yo, what's going on everybody? I was gonna make this video into a whole vlog, but I'm sure you guys just wanna get straight into it. As you guys see, I just passed my phase one FTMO account right here, hitting the profit target of 10,000. We finished. Um, right before the end day, it was like about four, I had like five days left. So, you know, we had a good amount of time, but we took our time. You can see right here that we didn't really go into drawdown. We were straight in profit the entire time. We just had a little bit of ups and downs, right? So yes, yeah, so we ended up hitting our profit target of 10,000 in 20 trading days. It took us a little bit. Um, and it was, it, it was great. Average risk to award was, uh, three to three, three, three to one. And I'm just really happy about it because now we get to up our capital, right? You guys are going to see the win rate and be like, wow, his win rate isn't that low. Well, you guys have to remember, as I explained in the FTMO interview, for those of you who've been watching me for a while, I do have these instances where I get in and get out waiting for a perfect entry. So I might lose um, like $200, right? And I'll get in and then I'll win, right? So I know my win rate really isn't 33.3. Just want to clear some things up. This is the statistics on this challenge account. Everything transparent. You know, I'm going to tell exactly how it is. Um, and yeah, that's the reason for the win rate. Um, you just gotta have to remember that you see risk to reward, you know, risk to reward obviously overpowers these, these, um, losses. I don't want to show too much. I don't know what I can show, but 10,000 profit. I'm going to show you guys exactly the winning trade that got me it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. And we're going to be moving on to the verification that I already have the credentials to do this. Oh, going into session, right? What do we have going into session? And what I have and what I see is basically price starting to shift and you're going to see it by market structure, right? You can see that price comes down, creates a lower low and you see this bearish candle where we create this wick. This is where we shorted yesterday, right? Price came up, wicked, and as it came back under, we shorted. It had that big trade. My last video was a five grand trade and price came all the way down, hit this area support and resistance. Now, after that trade is done, going into the next session, what do you see, right? You actually start to see higher lows being formed and that's why I felt like we were going to go long you have the first low right here you have the second low right here and now you have a four hour candle closing low momentum and also possibly creating another higher low right so i saw potential bullish structure moving to the upside so i was like all right cool um if we hold in an area before session that's where i'm going to look to enter right i am i i acknowledge and i see the change in structure on these trades right you can see that price is literally failing to create new lows as you see right here right just like that right these are higher lows basic market structure that i teach in the academy right so i'm like okay you know now where can i catch this move exactly right and you can see right here you can see right here and you're going to see that before taking off right before taking off we have this area of support and resistance that I have marked off. This is now before session, right? This is now before session. You can see prices held here and went long. Prices held here, prices held here, prices held here, here essentially creating a, a triple bottom, right? You can also see that price rejects at this level over here before session clearly, right? Stops right here, resistance comes up, comes down, retests it, uses support, flies, right? Same thing right here, breaks above, comes down, retests, drops. And now we're continuing to hold here. So I'm looking to potentially get into this trade somewhere around in here but something happened right we actually ended up missing our trade and price as it came back down to retest one more time we got this one fat candle it was like a one minute two or two minutes it was this one big bullish candle and it just ruined my risk to award um i don't like to get in I don't, um I, I i'm aware of fomo i don't like to get in when my risk to award is shot like that i would love to have an entry just like that right um so i was like you know what i'll take the best setup Price ends up dropping it down a little lower, and this is where I wanted to get in again, right? Potentially, it, it, it came down and retested again, guys. This is just price action. Read what it's telling you. Don't ignore it, right? Reject, 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 and again, now we're rejecting. So this is where I wanted to get enter in again, but same exact thing happened. It was just so quick, and boom, it was just one huge candle, and I was like, bro, I'm not entering up here, and this is a five-minute candle. So I like to wait for closure sometimes and hear it, you know, it was just crazy because price just flew immediately. So I was like, damn, I might have missed the trade, right? I might have missed the trade. But I felt as though if we were going to continue to go bullish, the only trade that I would take 
is if we create new highs and retest, right? So you're going to see price ends up going long. It would have been a perfect sniper trade, right, that we ended up um, missing. But price actually ends up creating a higher high, right? You're going to come over here and you're going to see that price breaks above this huge support and resistance zone right here. This huge zone that I have drawn here, we have a huge support and resistance. And from here, it's just basic structure, guys. We ended up creating a higher high right here. We're going to come back down and we're going to retest this area. As we retest this area, price is going to come back up. We enter. Um, As we flip right here, we're going to flip somewhere in here. Uh, give me a second right there as we flip we start to close back above support and resistance and as we close back on top we're going to enter our trade right in here right as we start to break above price starts to break above we're in this trade now price um, does come back retest that area again we possibly could have entered again um but there was no need to because i only needed two grand um and price ended up hitting old take profits but the crazy thing is, is that this would have been a nice swing trade all the way to the highs but i only took what i needed right i was at eight percent on the ft mobile challenge account i only needed two percent left so i wasn't going to hold anything longer than i needed to i literally took my two percent and got out but this trade ended up going for an insane amount of pips right as you can see this resulted in what i would have secured 68 pips but essentially it went up 117 pips guys crazy 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 trade before reversing so it was a beautiful trade that i probably would have held out on any other account but on the challenge account that's the longs that we took we simply just you know waited for the next break and retest it came down hit this air support and resistance and then we ended up going long beautiful trade right but this is where our initial entry was supposed to be that's where i wanted to get in right so um phase one is complete now we're going to moving on to phase two for those of you who aren't you know familiar with it phase two you have to make five percent of 100k in 60 days you get half the profit target and you have double the time so um i'm going to of course be dropping youtube videos as we go on and i'm happy to share with this you guys phase one is completed if you guys are interested in passing your accounts getting better at trading or even learning how to trade all the academy students are doing just that Excuse me. All the academy students are doing just that. We have someone who's going through challenges. We have someone who just passed phase one and we have people who are starting off with square one and some people who are just simply trying to learn and, you know, learn new things to add to their training strategy. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to put the description or the details in the description. Let me know. I hope you guys are doing great. I love all you guys. Thank you for watching this journey again. I'm rewatching it. You guys all know me from the FTMO interview, but now you're going to watch me go through the account um, as I am now. And God willing, we pass the verification very easily and we move on to another funded account and raise our capital so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys later and yep deuces